On this week's MetPy Monday, we're going to look at how we can interactively work with Matplotlib using mouse click events to draw features like fronts onto maps and capture that data. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, I want to look at how we can use the mouse click or the on click event in Matplotlib to capture the position of mouse clicks on a map and then use that to do something like draw front, like you saw me do in the intro. This could be handy if you need to pick data points off a chart and manually capture where those are, or maybe you are trying to do something like interactively draw an area of interest on a map and then do some further processing in that area. There's also on key events that work very similarly, so we're not going to cover those in this video. All right, so first we need to do our imports. I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot, import cartapy.crs as ccrs, import cartapy.features as cfeature, and from metpy.plots, I'm going to import the cold front. All right, now you notice I'm writing this in a script instead of in a notebook. That's because we are going to have that matplotlib plot window pop up, and we're going to be capturing and dealing with those on-click events. It might be possible in the notebook now, but really this is probably something you're going to do in a script more likely anyway. So first, let's make our map. I'm going to create a coordinate reference system. Our favorite, of course, is the Lambert conformal. The central longitude is minus 100. And the central latitude is going to be 45. The bounds for this plot are going to be a list, and that list is going to be a tuple, minus 122, minus 75, 25, 50. Remember, that's left, right, bottom, top. We're going to create our figure. I'm going to use a rather large fig size here just to make it fill my screen by default of 17 by 12 inches. going to add a subplot to my figure. One row of plots, one column of plots, the first plot, and the projection is our coordinate reference system, our Lambert conformal. I'm going to set the extent. We're going to unpack with star syntax the bounds list that we've got. And since those are in latitude and longitude, we need to be sure to specify that those are in plat curry, not Lambert conic conformal coordinates. From C feature, we're going to add coastline. And states. Then we're going to call plot.show. And first, let's just run this. So in our anaconda prompt, we're going to run python draw front.py. And first thing we get is we added an s onto cartapy.feature there. So this is always a good practice before we do the thing that we haven't done before, capture mouse click events. Let's make sure our map works. And sure enough, there's a map. That looks about right, and we have a nice figure here. Notice on the top corner, we have the Lambert Conic Conformal as well as the Plat Curry coordinates showing. All right, so now let's add our mouse click. I'm going to create two lists, X and Y, that are going to capture our click points. 
Now there are some different ways you can do this encapsulating this and an object would be much cleaner than using these as pseudo globals. But most of the time for a simple application like this, this works just fine. Okay, so I'm going to define a function. I'm going to call my function onClick. And it's going to receive an event as a parameter. And that event has lots of properties, which you can look up in the matplotlib documentation. I am very interested in the button property. And I want to run some code if the event button is 3. Now, why do I care about the button being 3? That's the rightmost mouse button, 2 being the middle and 1 being the left. We're going to be potentially panning and zooming with the left mouse button, so I don't want to use that. And it's very possible that you don't have a middle mouse button, depending on what kind of mouse you're using. So we'll stick with the right. I'm going to append event.xdata which is the coordinates, map core, or, well, the figure coordinates of where we clicked. Event.yData. And now we need to do our plot. So axe.plot, x and y. We'll make sure it's in blue path effects, remember that's a list, cold front, I'll go ahead and set a size of 8, and a spacing of 1.5. And then we call plot.draw to force the plot to redraw. Okay, so now we've created a basic event handler, we need to hook that up. So down here before plot.show, we're going to use fig.canvas.mpl underscore connect button press events. That's the name of the event that we're looking for. And when that event happens, we're going to tie it to the onClick function. And this connect ID is going to let us modify this later if we wanted, but we're not going to do that. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. All right, so I'm going to start drawing on my map here. And that's interesting looking behavior. We're getting all this doubling up. Well, what's happening is every time we click and the on click event runs, it's actually drawing a completely new front because we're calling axe.plot and it just keeps adding those line plots on top of each other. So what we want to do is remove any line plots that are existing. So I'm going to say if len axe.lines, which is the property that contains all the line plots on a plot, if there's more than zero, we're going to remove axe.lines zero dot remove. So that will get rid of that. We should never get more than one plot. And then we're still going to get all of our points because we're plotting all the x and y. Let's try that now. All right, so we're going to start. And yeah, now we're just getting one. If I click very close to a prior point, you see the spacing of the symbols is adjusting. So now you can draw whatever you want on your maps or pick data from your regular XY data plots. I hope that you found this useful and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.